Hello, why hello there everybody, it's your boy Shadow Psycho here and uh, we're continuing the story of what if Deku was a conduit today by Delson Mercer. So uh, yeah, uh, oh god what the hell is happening up there. So last time Deku basically met all my trained with him, uh, well met, met all my saved uh, Bakugo uh what discovered that he was a conduit and not uh, not someone with a quirk and uh all might offered to train him yeah you all might <laughs> so uh all right so let's continue the story after the intro <laughs> So we left off at when Izuku and Inko went home. Inko asked Izuku a question. Izu, what did that man Yagi want to talk about? Izuku said he works at UA and wanted to know if I was going to try out. He then told me about how he used to train new heroes and offered me a chance to train under him till the entrance exam. Inko replied with, that's great Izu, what did you say? And Izuku replied back, I said of course. We start tomorrow, so I'm gonna get to sleep. Time skip to 8 a.m. Izuku, hey, All Might, I'm here for training. And All Might replies, ah, young Midoriya, right on time, great. Judging by how trashy the beach is, I'm gonna clean it. And All Might replies, correct. In 10 months, you're gonna clean the entire beach with no powers. Well, me and All Might smacks Izuku on the back of the head for, uh, for saying language. Ow! Izuku screams and All Might rep says, "Don't swear." And Izuku re replied with, "Okay." All Might says, "Go get started cleaning. I'm gonna watch you work so I can make a plan for your training." Okay, I guess I should start. He cleans uh, the beach all day and stops around 5 p.m. And All Might says, "You didn't leave me disappointed, young Midoriya. At this rate, you'll have the section." Uh, the section you were working on in 10 months. Is that good? Izuku replied. And All Might said, give, uh, give how scrawny you are. Yes. Wait, you said section, not the whole beach. You aren't uh, doing the whole beach. You're doing the section. And if there is time, you'll start the, the second section. So what about tomorrow? Tomorrow is Sunday. You're going to start at 10 and finish at 5. I'll uh, have you your schedule by tomorrow morning so you can go over it. I'll see you tomorrow again. Thank you so uh, thank you for this opportunity, Izuku replied. And All Might said after that, it's no problem young Midoriya. Uh, I'm gonna train the next generation of heroes. Goodbye young Midoriya. Izuku goes home, takes a shower, eats dinner, and talks to his mum while watching Steven Universe. I love this show and I listen to the soundtrack all the time. He goes to sleep after a while but in his dreams something happens. As Izuku was sleeping his dream slowly tran uh, transformed to an open field with a young man sitting on a log looking at him. Sup, the mysterious figure uh, said, and Izuku asked, who are you? Where am I? I'm Delson. I was a conduit a couple of hundred years ago. How I'm here? I have no <laughs> clue. I've been uh, here since I died, just chilling, looking for a way out and watching you. I'm impressed you managed to obtain uh, drops to use orbital drop first try. What's orbital drop, Izuki asked. Delson replied with, remember that other day with the sludge villain? Izuku nods. Delson replies with, when you jumped into the air, you used my favorite move, orbital drop. You, you using smoke as a boost and fly high into the uh, into the sky, then rocket down, focusing all the smoke energy into your arms, and at the last second, blast the energy down in front of you and uh, turn your body to smoke, and uh, and split apart. I mainly use it as a finisher, but you don't have the same limits as me. What limits? Izuku replied. Delson says, "Oh, I had a change. I had to charge it with energy of 
the pseudoconduits. I thought I thought I don't know I I don't I know that's not how it works in the game, but karma wouldn't work in real life. But you change it with a f with a ton of smoke. You charge it with a f ton of smoke. You said you could use the same smoke powers a uh, power I have. Delson replied with, "Yeah, you and I have the same power." Remember what Recovery Girl said about you, about absorption? Musical replied that only one co other conduit had this power. Dawson replied with, that would be me. And Izuku said, really? Dawson replied, yep, I'll show you some abilities later. But first, I need to talk to you about your limits. Izuku replied questionably with, okay. Dawson uh, said, first, you have a healing factor but it has a hard limit don't push it if you need to heal instantly absorb some of the element you are access you have access to okay what else for izuku replied dawson said second while in some forms of using some element water and other liquids will hurt like a like a bee izuku said that makes sense with lightning Dawson says, good, finally, uh, our, our use of a single element without recharging will weaken your body and powers. Like say you use lightning for an hour straight without recharging your body. Will, your body will start to weaken and keep using, if you, to keep using that element. Your powers will also weaken to we can do to decrease in your power tank as i call it you have a certain lim limit of how much power you can absorb put back and put back out Yuzuka replied with yes thanks for the help and delson said nah don't mention it i'm stuck here might as well help you see ya kid have fun izuku fades out of the field and wakes up in his room with his alarm going uh, off and that is the end of uh, chapter uh, chapter five and now we're gonna go to chapter uh, six wow these chapters are getting small so after uh, after waking up izuku traveled around the city with his new power taking it down uh, taking out thugs and muggers as he got as he goes just getting an idea how to chain uh, tra train chain his power uh, to uh, m train his power to most effect uh, most efficiently uh, as he was flying jumping climbing and riding on cars he noticed he was uh, aimed right at a massive TV screen without any uh, time to dodge he activated absorb absorption and flew into the TV ad for a game called Heaven's Hellfire Ooh, Heaven's Hellfire I think we all know where this is from Second Son The famous Second Son to be exact After Izuku gained Eugene's powers he explained how he w has lived since Seattle events with the DUP. Izuku asked, how are you alive? I was told I was the last living conduit. Eugene said, you are right. I'm not alive after, fl after, f after Finch and Delson died. I went into heaven's hellfire and kept the game going. After a while, my human body died, but I was already code so uh, I had no need for it anymore right now I'm a real I'm as real as an angels uh, as my angels and demons I um, I summon of pixels see he walks through the benches uh, and continues in uh, the room Izuku replies so I'm talking with to a ghost huh cool Eugene replies with, "No, I'm not a ghost. I'm no longer. I no longer have a, a human body, but I'm still alive." Izuku replies, 
You're a ghost. Eugene says, God damn it, you're just like Delson. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are similar at this point now. And Delson is a cool guy. Come on, how don't you like him? Yuzuku said, I just talked to him last night. Eugene said, what are you talking about? Delson died hundreds of years ago. Yuzuku said, well, like what you did with saying, with saving your mind in the game, his mind was saved to God knows where, and I talked to him while I was sleeping. He applied, he, he uh, apparently, uh, apparently also what, see what I uh, see. Eugene apparently sees, also sees what I see. Eugene says, interesting. So when you went to sleep, you were able to talk to the savior of conduits? Was he as much uh, dick as he was in the real him? Yuzuku said, I have no clue. Never met him. I'm only 14. Uh, you and him are hundreds of years old. Eugene would reply as well. Well, he was a massive dick until Reggie died. Then he became a little more reserved and quiet, but still, uh, but just a little. Izuku replied with, "He wasn't a dick when, uh, when uh, he was more like a cool older brother." Eugene says, "I guess he uh, did mature. Did he seem cocky or arrogant?" Izuku replied, with, "Not really. He seemed experienced." He warned me of uh, limits. I had, uh, I have had dangerous uh, of going over them. Eugene said, "Well, guess I." He kept his promise. He replied, "With what promise?" After Reggie was killed, he made a promise. Reggie was his older brother. He was a good man. He was killed by Augustine, the U the leader of the DUP. He blamed himself and a conduit named Hank for Reddy's death. The promise was to not be as cocky before. Uh, to not be as cocky. Uh, ow, my eyes. Just give me a second. Before this promise, he acted like he was a god, a man to be worshipped. Wow. Yeah, that is true. And sorry, I am uh, butting into this. I I just like to tell my honest opinion, but I'm gonna probably cut this out later. That was the reason uh, Reggie was killed. He believed no one could defeat him. Before Hank betrayed them, he thought he was the uh, the one man army who couldn't uh, he who could have killed the DUP troops uh, in the state of the or the world and their plan was to break in power up and beat Augustine but shit hit the fan Hank sold them out to Augustine Delson was almost captured until Reggie got him out of the concrete covering on his uh, covering on his arms uh, but Reggie was attacked throw thrown off the platform coated in concrete and the only thing holding him was Delson Reggie wanted his little brother to survive so he uh, let go uh, knowing if he didn't hadn't both uh, he and Delson would die Damn, that was really sad, that moment. I did play three seconds then. Delson, after beating Augustine and healing his tribe, uh, painted a billboard honoring his brother who died because of his arrogance. So true and so painful. He, ma he then made the promise to never think of himself as a god or a one-man army. He would just be a man living how his brother would want him to. Izuku replied, Holy... Uh, no, that I'm... Now that I'm here, 
He doesn't want me to do what he did. Eugene replied, "Yep, he did the same uh, for his uh, for his and Finch's children. He taught them uh, he." Humid humility and not to see yourself above all because of powers cause it, it'll bite you in the ass hardcore Yeah That's true Give me a second All right, let's continue <laughs> I'm a sad now So Izuku replied with so what happened to them? Uh, Eugene uh, asked who? His kids? They were condits too and uh, with this help close the gap uh, of conduits and normal humans. That's why when the quirks came around the laws uh, laws were made in a year or uh, in a year already had the same things happening. And the conduits were forgiven, Izuku asked. Eugene replied with, Yep, we were left behind, forgotten. Hey kid, you need to uh, go ho get home. Izuku asked, Why? Eugene replied, It's 9 p.m. and dark out, and given you're, a four you're 14, your parents must be super worried. Izuku replied, Damn! Bye, Eugene. Can I stop by just f uh, by loading Heaven's Hellfire and turning into Pixel? Eugene replied, "Yep, anytime, kid." Uh, it was nice talking to someone after so long. And uh, with that, Izuku left a few uh, and a few home uh, with Pixels and Smoke. When he gets there, he is uh, screamed at by his mum. Where the hell have you been? You didn't answer your phone. I, I called Yagi. He said today instead of training, you would find out ways to travel and you're gonna and you're gone till 9 p.m. Where the hell did you go? Uh, Izuku replied with, I met another conduit. Inko replied with, but recovery girl said you're the last one. Izuku said, he died hundreds of years ago, but he saved his mind in uh, to a game a play a place where he will forever live live forever Inko replied okay just don't do that again call me and tell me uh, where you are you're going and if you'll uh, be home late please uh, you're uh, my only son and uh, the last conduit villains might come after you uh, come for you and I can't lose you she said crying her her eyes out inko now feels horrible for making his uh, wait, wait, why am i saying inko izuku now feels horrible for making his mum uh, worry like that he hugs her while saying i'm sorry mom i promise to call you uh if i'll be late or if something happens okay inko replied with, okay thank you izuku uh, Izu, and that is the end of uh, chapter five. So uh, yeah, there'll there'll be this will be a, a little bit longer, I'm guessing. Maybe I'll go to chapter four just just to make uh, sure. I mean, what what am I saying? Chapter four. I started uh, chapter four. Maybe I'll go to chapter six. I mean, not six seven. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna do one more. Once he went to sleep, he was transferred to his inner mind, the field he met uh, Delson in. Hey kid, uh, Delson said, and Izuku replied with, hi. Delson said, I have a favor. Izuku uh, asked, uh, what is it Delson? And Delson replied, Next time you talk to Eugene, tell him I said, go fuck yourself. Uh, Izuku said, I should have guessed. And uh, Delson replied with, anyway, you know who I am from Eugene. Well, you probably have some questions, right? Izuku replied with, yeah, I want to know who Reggie was. 
Dose and uh, Rapirith. I thought that would be the one. <sighs> Reggie was up to height, golden child, with a stick shoved up so far up his ass. I was, I was, I'm surprised he couldn't see it coming out <laughs> from his mouth. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Ah, there's my there's my boy Delson. <laughs> ah, shut up, PlayStation. I don't want. To, I don't. Want, ah. All right. <laughs> Delson uh, says chuckling, but I love him as he was always there for me when I needed him, and I know he uh, cared about me. Even while he was arresting me for vandal vandalism, it wasn't for if it wasn't for him, I would be uh, dead. My parents died around six months after I was born. Uh, drunk driving a driver hit the, their car, speeding through a red light. I uh, never really knew them. Reggie was about fourteen. He uh, he inherited the estate and had to take care of me. This is this is my head cannon, uh, not some not something from the game. Oh, that's from uh, the writer, by the way. That me that little message, with some help of uh, my grandpa, um, my grandma Betty, she uh, helped Reggie and I, uh, uh, Reggie any way she could. Uh, he sold uh, the house and moved with Betty. He would take care of me while Betty was uh, the manager of a fish a fish cutry. When uh, Reggie got a job, I was about four. He worked part time for a local restaurant till he was able to become a cop. While well, he did that, Betty cut back on her shifts to take care of me with money from the estate we had a, a decent life once i was about 14 i learned i was really good at uh, targeting and sp uh, yeah targeting and spraying pa paint buildings uh, i was arrested by my own brother i hated him i i was in uh, out in and out of jail and juvie for years until I was 24 then I became a conduit my brother took care of of me for 18 years till we till he moved out to live uh, by himself leaving me with Betty and how do I rep repay him uh, of and how do I repay him a, van a vandalized thing and hate him Delson is crying and looks close to breaking down. Yuzuku hugged him. I'm legit. This is legit bringing me to tears. <laughs> Delson continued with, I was a cocky prick who thought I was a god. Uh, every time Reggie tried to help me or stop me, I would blow him off and hate him. He risked his life for me time and time again. It was my fault he's dead. Izuku punched him in the face as hard as he could. Izuku said, Listen, you may have been at fault for his death, but you made sure you avenged him so uh, his death wasn't in vain. The promise you made to Reggie, uh, you kept it until you died, didn't you? Yes, Dawson replied. Uh, Izuku said, from what Eugene told me of Reggie, he sacrificed himself uh, so you would survive and save your tribe, didn't he? Delson replied with yes. Did you save them? Izuku asked. Delson said, yeah. Izuku said, yes, Reggie died, but it was your f it Yes, it was your fault, but you kept your promise so he wouldn't die for no reason. Dawson replied with, thanks kid, I needed that. I thought I faced my demons, but I didn't guess I didn't. Izuku said, no problem. I mean, what are friends for, right? Dawson said, 
I guess I think you're wa you're waking up. Izuku started to fade away. See you later, savior of the conduits. Tell Eugene is a dick. Dawson uh, said, and Izuku said, uh, replied with, "Will do." Izuku wakes up in his room and gets ready to train with All Might. And that is where we're going to be ending of this episode of uh, What If uh, Deku Was a Conduit. Uh, so I hope you really enjoyed this uh, episode. I, uh, I, uh, this was actually a nice bit of uh, emotion for me here because I actually played through the game and I got into the role a bit too much that I started feeling like if I was Delson. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I'm a weirdo, I know. Thank you very much. But that really hurt. <laughs> this this episode really hurt. Yeah, so uh, I hope you did enjoy this. And uh, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, all that typical YouTuber biz business. And uh, yeah. Uh, well, we'll see you dudes in the next one. See ya from the Blessed Heroes.